My name is Andy Casagrande and I'm a wildlife cinematographer. I've spent more than seven years filming the migrations in Africa from the wildebeest migrating to the zebra and all the predators involved. This is her fourth day hunting and she still hasn't made a kill. It's a pretty amazing feeling to be there amongst so many animals that are, are just so full of life and their whole mission is to just survive. But where there are prey, you find the predator. So for me, as a wildlife cameraman, I'm also trying to capture unique behaviors with amazing new technologies. Great. I'm Will Bird Lucas, I'm a wildlife photographer, and I've been covering the wildebeest migration for about five years now. I'd always heard about the wildebeest migration and I'd always wanted to see it, but from the moment I did see it, the scale and magnitude of it completely blew me away. And so it then became my mission to try and convey this scale. For roughly three years, I worked on this amazing National Geographic project called Great Migrations. So we're heading out onto the plains to catch some of the action of the migration. It was a wildlife series, and one of my first assignments was in Africa amongst the wildebeest migration. We had cheetahs, we had lions, crocodiles, hyenas. Every predator in Africa was there, you know, trying to take advantage of this avalanche of, of meat. Hopefully we'll get lucky for some cheetah kills, lions, whatever else that might be hunting this morning. So the tough thing about filming wildlife is they do things so quickly, super fast, that if you miss it, you never get another shot. So what's really cool about the phantom camera is that it allows you to shoot super slow motion and slow things down. And you know, with the cheetah, the fastest land animal in the world, when you shoot it on the phantom, you can slow it down and deconstruct the muscles, the paws, the legs, all in full motion. And basically when the cheetah's at a full sprint, all four of its legs can be off the ground and it's just soaring through the air. It's, it's incredible. Photographing the wildebeest migration is always a challenge because every year their movements are different. You need a bit of luck to be there at the right place at the right time. So I started experimenting with other methods. And as I saw the wildebeest crossing the river and these incredible patterns as they got washed downstream, I realized that time lapse would be a very interesting way to look at it and a perspective I hadn't seen before. So I set up one or two cameras uh, firing a few frames a second which I could then speed up to show the dynamics and the number of wildebeest involved in these, in these river crossings. And that worked very well. My favorite shot that I was able to capture, I got footage of a big zebra, fully frustrated and angry, flipped around, tried to chase down and kill, stamp a baby cheetah cub that it, happened to just be in the field sort of with its mom on the hunt. The zebra turned around, reversed the roles. The predator essentially became the prey. I would have still probably preferred to get the ultimate kill out there, but um, sometimes with wildlife you got to take what you can get. To be a wildlife photographer, luck comes into it, but also planning. And the more you can plan and understand your subject and be able to predict what they'll be doing and where they'll be, the greater your chances are of getting lucky. If you're passionate about the story and passionate about inspiring people to care about wildlife, then every day you're out there, every day you don't get the shot, as long as you persist and you work hard and you stay focused, it's going to pay off. Oh my God. With all these amazing tools at our disposal, it really is up to our imagination. Um, just to try and find new ways to use these things to capture movement and wildlife um, in, in new ways.